Canada, welcome. I'm at the sock down here, Young and Dundas in Toronto. Lots of people walking by, typical of Toronto. There's a uh, sock puppet here with a cigar, and nobody bothers to look. It's just like another day in Toronto. Love hey, you love me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love you too. Thank you. What's your name, my friend? Mr. Duffy. Mr. Duffy. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Duffy. Are you related to the former senator, Mr. Duffy? Nope. No. Better. You're better. I'm related to Al Duffy. You're related to Al? No, you're related to Al Duffy. Yeah, he's, he's mayor of Richmond Hill. Mayor of Richmond Hill. And now he's the biggest fan of in Canada. Really? He's And what do you do? You, do you ever get any get any money from him? No, not really. No, not really. So the hell with him then. Your dad did. I got knowledge. You got knowledge. What kind of knowledge did you get from him? He told me. Yeah. Buy property. Buy property. Did, did you buy property? Yeah, I did. So what happened? Hey, let's go closer to my friend here. I bought property. Yeah. He told me. Yeah. Buy that property. Big as you can. 100 acres. Right. In the water. Sever it. Five times. All right. And did you... Develop it. Yeah. And watch what you do. In two years, and hold it for 30 years, and watch how much you can get. What if it's like out in the middle of nowhere? It doesn't matter. Well, nobody wants to build in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, what happened. 30 years ago... So you got to hold on to it for 30 years. It doesn't matter. 30 years ago, he told me to do this. Yeah, okay. And you know where this was? Where was this? $10,000. You could buy an island. Back then, 10000 Well, Yeah, but 10000 bucks back then, you could buy a house. It doesn't matter. You could buy an island for $10,000. Yeah, but what kind of, what's on the island? Well, guess what that island's worth today. Well, what's it worth today? A trillion dollars. A trillion dollars? Imagine that. A trillion dollars. I think, I think you're imagining that. No, you're going to see. Yeah, I am. Do you believe in Jesus? Um, I believe he was there. Well, he is there. Yeah. He's coming today. He's coming today? And he's back. He, well, wait a second. If Jesus is coming today, why didn't he let us know? I would have straightened up. I've been telling everybody, and I'm telling you right now. You're telling, you've been telling, did you tell people yesterday Jesus was coming today? There's a circle of six. There's a circle of six? Yeah. Who are the six? You'll find out. Well, how will I know it's them if I don't know who they are? There's six of them going to be here today. Oh, yeah. Six, for sure. It's a huge day. What a day I picked to come down here. Yeah, these preachers, yeah. Not one of them will help any homeless person. No, they won't help I anyone. The church and I told them. Yeah. You watch what happens. Yeah, six are coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's bringing six with him. And he's from ACN. And you know what? I told everybody. Yeah. And made your community to load. Yeah. He loaded and hit on you, believe it. Wait, 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 wait. They don't believe you? No, uh, my best friend knows that I can attract anything. You can attract anything. I attract you guys. Yeah, yeah. well, that's true, and we we qualify as anything. He's my favorite. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Duffy. And I'll see you guys later. I'll see you later. Let me let me know if Jesus is, like, close by. Oh, I'll brush my hair. You're all source energy, remember? I'm source energy? Abraham Hicks and Oprah Winfrey. A Abraham and Oprah Winfrey? It's Queen Esther Hicks. That's who she is. Queen There's Esther. There's a kingdom coming. There's a kingdom coming. Why does nobody tell me this? Why do I have to wait to come down here and find out from Mr. Mr. Duffy? Oh, Jesus. Je yeah, I know Jesus you know, is coming later. What All right, Mr. Duffy, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my friend, Mr. Duffy. Oh, you hear that siren? That might be Jesus. Je Hello? Well, if it is, it's awfully noisy. All right, so as I was saying, no, that wasn't Jesus. Oh, wait, Mr. Duffy's bringing somebody over to say hello. Hang on, hang on, here's Mr. Duffy again. Hey, how are you, King? What this guy does for the homeless. Hi, how are you? You've been, you been helping the homeless? As long as I okay, well then I support you, man. People need to do more for the homeless. Did you know that Jesus was coming today? Neither did I. Mr. Duffy's been telling everybody. He's bringing six people. He like made reservations, table for seven. Kingdom coming. All right. Yeah, amen. All right. Well, thank you, King. Yeah, Peace you. out. All right. All right. That's what happens when you come down here. Uh, this is Canada. These are honest people having honest conversations. There's Mr. Duffy. I don't think King really wants to hang out with Mr. Duffy is the impression I got, but uh, he's got a lot of patience. All right. Uh, so this is Yo Canada, where we show, uh, show you the videos of numerous artists, uh, Canadians from across our great land, uh, show you the talent they've got in music and in putting videos together. 
And uh, up first, well, apparently this band is the personification of ragged, unbridled energy. Um, they're the meringues. Um, I don't like meringue. You ever had lemon meringue pie? Tim, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of lemon meringue pie. But apparently, according to Wikipedia, meringue is a uh, light, airy, sweet confection. And that can sort of apply to this uh, music as well. This is the meringues. If uh, those of you who are children of the 70s uh, will remember the dating game, and uh, these guys went way out of their way to make a very expensive music video that recaptures that zeitgeist. Um, so it features uh, a set that looks exactly like the old dating game in the 60s and 70s. Uh, also an unfortunate mustache and a guy who looks like a young Bob Geldof in 1970s pants. What are 1970s pants? Watch and you will see. Here they are, the Meringues with The Lottery on Yo! Canada, New Music Nation. Live from the Smith Robinson Studios, it's The Lottery! And here's your host, the star of the show, Tom McCoy! Thank you, thank you. You are too kind. Thank you and welcome once again to The Lottery. Now it's time to meet our three eligible bachelors. Here they are! When bachelor number one isn't doing the hustle and tearing it up at the local roller rink, he's living at home in his one-bedroom apartment with his mom, the one and only Darren Baldwin. Bachelor number two is a published author and an accomplished poet. They claim to have lived the last five years of their life as a poem. A true romantic, Jed Kane. <laughs> bachelor number three would rather settle down than be out on the town. She's a real homebody that enjoys the little things in life, like sinking her feet into a shag carpet and watching the changing colors on her mood ring. The incomparable Cassie Klein. And now, let's welcome our contestant. She hails from White Bread, Ontario, a switchboard operator that admitted to listening in on other people's conversations. She loves macrame and making ashtrays. Please welcome Mandy Baxter. So, Mandy, tell us a bit about yourself. Bachelor, come on over, Jed. 
no. Fuck that. So glad this worked out for me. I want someone who is strong, independent, and knows when to stop talking. I'm here for love. Love is an open embrace. The others are gross. I don't live with my mother. She lives with me at her house. But if you play your cards right, it could be our house. They're calling this the me decade. And I'm looking for the type of person who will look me in the eyes and say, Mandy, this is the you decade. I tried fax dating for a while, but I had to stop because it's really hard to make a connection. And the ink is really expensive. Honestly, I don't care about this stupid game show. I'm going to get on your set and win my girl back. No, this sucks. Hey, how are you, man? Hey, what's up? How are you? How are you? What's going on, man? Uh, how are I'm you doing? Long time, man. You watch me a long time. Long time. Yeah. What? Show, what's man. your name? I didn't know you though. My name is Wallace. Wallace. Yeah, man. Wallace. Sad boy. That's all you do with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I watched long time. You watch that? Years. You watch that thing with me and Snoop Dogg? Uh, one time, you, no, 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 it's somebody else anyway. Yeah, it was someone else. I never talked That's to Snoop Dogg. Ah. Yeah, that was right. Let me snow, let me snow. You want to do what you want to do? One picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend Wallace, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wallace. Have you ever, have, have you, you are you still in touch with the beaver? Beaver the lumber, which one? Yeah, that's right, beaver the lumber. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, Tim, we'll uh, get what yeah, you can man. here. Yeah, yeah, what's up, buddy? Okay. All right, there we go. Me and Wallace. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. It's been, yeah, I've been watching a long time. Man. All right, man. Keep up. Take care, Wallace. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so good to see my friend Wallace there. I've never met that man before in my life. All right. Uh, so here we are, downtown Toronto. This is uh, Dundas Square. I don't know if uh, you guys have heard, but what, what, what's going on? You're moving me? You're moving me. There we go. Okay. So we're down here at Dundas Square. I don't know if you heard but they're planning to change the name of Dundas Square from Dundas, because Dundas apparently, I don't want to get into the whole shit, but he's, uh, he's a dude that never had much connection with Toronto, and there's all these connections to slavery and things like that, so people are like, change the name from Dundas, even though most people don't even think of Dundas, and they think, oh yeah, that guy Dundas. They think of it as a street, but people are gonna change it. And I was thinking, if you're gonna change the name of Dundas, you got to change it to something that will never, you know, wind up stirring controversy. So we need to name it after somebody who's like a, a, an important cultural symbol in this country who will not come back and have a history that will haunt us and make us change the name again. So I'm thinking we need to name Dundas Square after the Littlest Hobo. What do you think? Littlest Hobo Square. Dundas Street, Littlest Hobo Street. There's a voice that keeps on calling me. That's what we should do. So uh, make sure you, call, if you're in Toronto, contact your counselor, say Ed the Sox says we should name it after the littlest hobo. Uh, and uh, well, let's see how much traction we can get on that. All right, uh, up uh, next. Okay, this is a, I, this person sent in this video and I thought this is the shit. Like this is, she is for real. She's a rapper and uh, the, uh, the whole video is like, a, it's, a, it's a, a metaphor using uh, boxing and competition. She goes by the name N3S, but I looked up N3S and all I could find was a postal code for Brantford, Ontario. And there's another rapper named N3SG. So I don't know anything about this rapper except this is a really good video. So uh, check it out, N3S uh, Champs Chant here on Yo Canada, New Music Nation. You can come by now, everyone walk by. Hello, nice to see you. Champs Chant. You can knock me down once. You can knock me down twice. You can knock me down a hundred times. But guess what? I ain't staying down. Cause pain is the fuel of my fire. Through the blood, sweat, and tears, you got a chance for the champion. When it comes to realness, I know. 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 Realness, I know. When it comes to realness, I know. No, 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 no. When it comes to realness, I know. 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 Realness, I know. When it comes to realness, I know. No, 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 no. Baby, hey, you know that you'll be rocking all your life. 
Next, okay, this uh, next artist opened for Meek Mills, French Montana, Kid Inc., MGK, and Lauren Hill, and I've heard of at least two of those things. Um, the, it takes about a half a minute to get into the video. That's what I hate about videos when like, they take a half a minute to play credits and shit like that before you get to the actual music, but this guy is so good, it's actually worth it. Uh, one of the first things that comes to mind when you watch Ever Love Blake with his song Jam Rock is, is that a real beard? I can't tell if that's a real beard. He looks like he might be black Amish. Is there such a thing as black Amish people? Because I'm like watching this thing saying, is there going to be a barn raising anytime soon? Uh, also featuring a, a brunette woman who may or may not be in a coma. Uh, props for the Vancouver Grizzlies jersey. And this video has a bit of a 90s vibe in the way it presents women, which, well, you're kind of warned about that. And I'm going to go get an ice cream for my friend here, Nico. Thanks, Nico. Take care, guys.
Um, by the way, behind me now, here in downtown Toronto, is this uh, this cold drinks, hot dog, sausages stand. Uh, my uh, fellow VJ, Robbie, uh, went up to the guy on camera and asked him if we could get a free hot dog in exchange for being on TV or being on the internet. And the guy, <laughs> the guy went ape shit. He went insane on us. And uh, so I'm actually standing further away from him so he can see that I'm doing this, but he can't stop me because I'm not within his little sphere of influence. So... Kiss my ass, angry sausage man. All right, um, it's okay, goodbye. It's all right, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. See you very friendly people down here. You hear people in Toronto aren't friendly, people around are very friendly. Um, what's that guy doing sitting over there? This is disturbing me. See that guy just sitting there? That doesn't look comfortable. Does that look comfortable to you? Looks very uncomfortable. That's where you can uh, sign out bikes, by the way. Because that's what I really want. A bike that somebody else's fat ass has been sweating on. That's what I, oh yeah, that's what I want to rent. Okay, talk about spreading diseases. Uh, the next uh, video is called The Darkness by Happy Failure. Now, Happy Failure, you, those of you who are literate may recognize as a story by Herman Melville. A story not about success or failure. It's more about man's attitude to life. This video, not that deep. Uh, the Darkness, by the way, was a, a comic book and a really cool video game back in like the early 2000s. This band is from Victoria, BC. It's a trio, two of whom are named Ashley. And I watched this video and said, any video with cats and a unicorn mask can't be all bad. I'm not saying it's all good, but it's worth taking a look. Here they are, Happy Failure, The Darkness on Yo Canada. Tears and her cheeks like waterfalls
Okay, so let's continue. Uh, this next band, this one's actually for me. This, what are you doing shooting me? Did I tell you you can shoot me? What are you doing there, man? What are you doing? What's going on there? I like your character. You like my character? You don't even know me. How can you like my character? All right, well, thank you. What's your name, Jiu-Jitsu? Uh, my name is Oscar. Oscar! Yeah. I like that name, Oscar. Oscar's the man. Oscar, yeah. All right, and there's some guy behind raising his arms. All right, so Oscar, you can shoot while I go on. Hey guys, hey, good to see y'all. Uh, okay, this next band is for me. They're one of my favorites. They play rockabilly. They're uh, from Edmonton. They're called the Confusionaires, and I really like this. They had another video on an earlier episode. This is another one of their songs. I really like this band. I really like their sound. And this video, it's like they in, looks like they invaded a Gap ad. So let's take a look at the Confusionaires here on New Music Nation. We are here downtown Toronto. Uh, for those of you from other parts of the country who sort of mythologize Toronto, rhapsodize Toronto, this is what it really looks like. But this is actually the part they try to make look like Times Square in New York, which is rather pathetic because we're about, I don't know, 10% the size of Times Square, and we don't have anybody dressed up as like Spider-Man or SpongeBob. So you really can't be a major city like an American city until you got someone dressed up like Superman, Spider-Man, Wolverine, or SpongeBob. Also, the costumes have to be horrendous and they have to all look really dirty. Once you have that, we'll really have Toronto as a world-class city. Um, okay, uh, this next band coming up, by the way, shortly, uh, we're gonna show a video of an older man playing with himself. I know you can't wait. You can't wait. An older man playing with himself. It's an integral part of the music video. That's coming up. Uh, but first, here's a band. They hail from Canada's north in the Yukon. And uh, their, their PR says, Speed Control is the rock band that can make you move even at minus 40 degrees. And these guys are involved in promoting education. They do like educational seminars and things like that while on the road. It's kind of like one of those Saturday morning cartoons or the G.I. Joe cartoon. Like they play music, then at the end they give like a special message and knowing is half the battle. Crap like that. All right, this is, uh, and they're sponsored by Yamaha, 
where's my money, Yamaha? You sponsor these guys. Where's, where's Yamaha, where's my money? Where, Yamaha, where's my money? Yamaha, show me the money. All right, you sponsor speed control. Show me the money. All right, uh, we're gonna go to speed control now. I forget the name of the video, but it really doesn't matter to you. Just have a look at the video. They're a good band, take a look. That's about it for us here on Yo Canada, the second edition here on New Music Nation. Uh, we're going to close with, as I promised, a video showing an older man playing with himself. Uh, for those of you who are fans of the Queen's Gambit, well, they're tertiarily related. Is that a word? Tertiarily? I don't think it is. I just made one up. I'm contributing to the language, just like Shakespeare did. All right, uh, this is a band called We Found a Lovebird. The video is called Blood in the Dirt. Um, uh, here's what it says on their website. We Found a Lovebird creates a sound that draws from the genres of power, punk and, uh, power pop and art rock. With literate lyrics and taut rhythms of shimmering textured guitars, the band conjures vivid worlds that invite the listener in. At times dreamy and ethereal, at others spiky and angular, the band revels in sustained grooves and enveloping monolithic climaxes. What the hell does any of that even mean? 
This is what happens when someone gets a hand of a, a hold of a thesaurus. All right, uh, this is the band uh, We Found a Lovebird. As I said, here we go. A man playing with himself. A fitting way to end this second edition of Yo Canada. Don't forget, if you want to support us, uh, send uh, become a monthly patron at patreon.com slash newmusicnation. And if you want to send a message, you can do it at feedback. No, it's not feedback. It's hey NMN, hey NMN at newmusicnation.ca. Send your feedback, send your comments, your questions, your suggestions, and uh, I'll answer them on this show. And right now, here we go. Uh, time to play We Found a Lovebird's Blood and the Dirt on New Music Nation. See you next week. Oh, no.